Civil servants in Nigeria are seeking inclusion in the committee set up by the federal government to implement the 2012 Oronsaye report. The Association of C Senior Civil Servants also called on the authorities to review the document before implementation. TVC's Joke Adisa has details. Civil servants across various federal government agencies are under the spotlight following the decision of President Bola Tinubu to implement the Stephen Orozoyo report submitted in 2012. The Orozoyo panel established that there are 541 government parastatals, commissions, statutory and non-statutory agencies. It recommended that 263 of the statutory agencies be reduced to 161, 38 agencies to be scrapped and 52 merged while 14 will revert to departments and ministries. While it supports the implementation of the report and desperate assurances from the federal government, the umbrella body of senior civil servants still fears that it may lead to job loss. We want the review is that so that the organized labor will be part and parcel of even the review and by extension the implementation. That alone will give the workers confidence that our voice was heard. The association believes the state of the country has evolved from what it was in 2012. Where the masses cannot have what we can call the purchasing power for goods and services with the high cost of living, government need to cut the cost of governance through reduction in a lot of capital projects. In the spirit of cutting cost of governance, the workers call for unicameral legislature or on part-time basis. Most of these agencies were created by the Act of Parliament. It therefore means for it to be successfully implemented, these agencies, there must be another bill to repeal that Act. Otherwise, it will be a recipe for litigation. In response to the concerns over possible loss of jobs in the aftermath of the implementation of the report, the federal this government, country. through the Minister of Information, Mohamed and Idris, assured Nigerians no worker will be retrenched. It says having done its own work well, the measures will ensure efficiency in the civil service and save costs. Some of the federal government agencies recommended to be merged, subsumed or scrapped include the EFCC, ICPC, Code of Conduct Bureau, NTA, NCC, NACOM, Corin, PITAD, and NCPC. Joke Edsa, TVC News, Abuja. And for more on this, um, the President, Association of Senior Civil Servants of Nigeria, Tommy Okon, joins me on the news. Uh, he joins me via, uh, joins me from Abuja studio. Thanks for joining us. All right, I want to ask you, before we get to your request, I want to ask you about, um, or to get your reaction to comments from people who are saying that this particular document is no longer in tune with current realities and as such, might not be able to block the leakages and shortages um, that is needed at, it, at this time. Well, I, I think um, we, we need to look at it because of the timing. And again, this is a document that came into force since 2012, exactly 12 years ago. And it therefore means that um, we cannot really show because as at that time, the cost of governance and the way of doing things, you know, cannot be compared to now, most especially when it has to do with the high cost of living. So that is why we are concerned that there is also need for Mr. President or the committee to look into the, the, the report, review it in line with the realities of the moment while, you know, the, the, the implementation. So that is our concern. And, and, and we have also said, because of also the various concern of our members, that there is need for inclusion of organized labor, you know, in the entire process. That alone will give the implementation, the confidence, and also the, the, the workers their voice in the implementation of that document. I, 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 that, that, that is the way we look at it, why we support the document implementation in total. And, and this, this is not a document or, or that is talking about the minimum wage or a document that is talking about, I mean, I know there's staff welfare involved, but 
what would be the role of, of labor in this committee? What exactly would they be doing? You know, you, know, you cannot shave our, our head in our absence. What the, 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 the committee set out to do, you know, has to do a lot with the workers because it is an agency where our members work. And in that case, it is incumbent on, on, on us to be part on the process. And that is in line with international best practice. Anything that has to do with the workers, of course, the organized labor has to be involved in looking at it. It's, it's a, a, a way of also giving the government you know, the due regard as if they are labor friendly. You know, so we look at it from that context of labor friendly. And w if, the, if the government does not um, or do not involve labor in this committee, what then happens? Are you, also, are you still going to send your recommendations I, to I, I think, the government? I, 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 think, I think the president is a listening uh, president. And in democracy, this is expected. So I don't think that the, 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 the committee of Mr. President will be adamant to the request of the Labour. But what will your recommendations be as a whole? Um, some are already worried that, look, this might lead to job loss um, and that some, you know, might also lead to when you have to start reviewing ranks because you are subsuming some uh, agencies in, into ministries and other agencies. But how, what would your recommendations be in terms of how this should be carried out? Uh, you know, it's, um, it's important when you are a part of the exercise. You know, within the context of uh, the committee, one will be able to see certain law of, of which, you know, government may not look at it from their own point of view. And that, that is the reason why our voice, you know, our voices in that regard, we had, and, and then we make a very strong input. Because, uh, like we said, for the mere fact that we are the union does not mean that we are enemies of government, but we work in partnership for the progress of this country. And that is the best approach to it when you talk about social dialogue and collective bargaining to arrive at an agreement that when it is implemented, the, the, you know, our members will have confidence in that implementation. You know, otherwise, you look as if government has taken side to scout or, you know, the, 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 the workers, which is not, you know, what is expected. I will see how it plays out. We'll also see how government re responds to your request. Thank you so much for your time. President, Association of Senior Civil Servants of Nigeria, Tommy Okun. Thank you very much.